Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to review how to configure manual route summarization. Now the reasons to use route summar summarization, whether it's auto summarization or manual summarization, are the same. So if you watch the route uh, auto summarization tutorial already, you know that we can shrink the routing table, it's more efficient, we get faster lookups, all of that remains. However, with the manual approach, you have a lot more control over where you summarize routes and how you summarize the routes. So here's our lab again. We have router A and B. They are connected via a serial link, and this is the subnet we're using to identify those interfaces. And again, router A has three subnets within the class A 10 network, and we want to advertise those to router B. Now by default, EIGRP would summarize these into the classful 10 dot slash 8 network and we reviewed in the last tutorial on how to disable auto summary. Well let's say we've done that we disable auto summary but we realize that you know we still want to summarize these routes we just don't want to send the entire class A slash 8 advertisement over to router B. So what we'll do is we'll use manual route summarization to kind of tailor our summary route to represent these three routes. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump on router A and get started. Now the first thing we want to do is disable auto summarization. So we jump into EIGRP configuration. We have ASN5 in this example and we issue the command no auto summary. Okay, so that's just like what we covered in the auto summarization tutorial. Now that that's been disabled, we have to go ahead and create our new manual summarization route, the route that will represent those three subnets off of router A, two slash 27s and a slash 28. Oddly enough, that is not done in the protocol configuration area. Rather, we have to go into the interface that the advertisement is going to leave router A. So that would be serial 000. And this is where we're going to configure our new uh, summary address. So the command we enter is IP summary address. The protocol is EIGRP. And again, we have to state the ASN number. And then we have to create our new IP address. Well, the two slash 27s and the slash 28 can all be summarized with a slash 25. And so that's what I'll do. 10.10.10.0, and then we have to enter a subnet mask. 255.255.255.128. Okay, so now our summary address has been configured, and this is the new route that's going to be advertised to router B. So let's take a look at our routing table now. Okay, so on router A, we can see we have the 10 dot network and we have our slash 27, another slash 20, 27, and the slash 28. But now you can see there's a slash 25 in there and it says is, this is a summary and it's routed to null zero. Now the reason why that null zero is in there is because if router A receives a packet for anything in that slash 25, it's going to receive it and then it's going to see if there's a more specific route. In other words, does the packet belong to the 10.10.10.0 slash 27? Does it belong to the dot 64 slash 27? Or does it belong to the dot 96 slash 28? If it does, it'll route the, route the packet to one of those destinations. However, since we have a few gaps within that slash 25. We may receive a packet that was routed towards our summary address, but then we don't have an actual route to that destination. So here, if router A receives such a packet, it's just going to go ahead and route it to null zero. In other words, it will discard it. Okay, so that's how router A's route table is going to look. Let's go ahead and jump on router B now and see what it's learning from us. Okay, on router B, let's go ahead and take a look at its route table. And here you can see there is a slash 25 from router A. We learned it from EIGRP. And it's 10.10.10.0. And the subnet mask is a slash 25. 
Okay, so the individual subnets on router A, the 2 slash 27s and the slash 28, those are no longer advertised to router B as individual subnets. Rather, they're all hiding behind this slash 25, and that's the only thing we learn. Okay, to summarize what we covered, with manual route summarization, we get a lot more control over how our network will behave. We can control where we summarize our, our routes and what those summary routes are going to look like. The first thing you want to do is disable auto summary and then go into the interface that is going to be used to send out your routing updates. And then you have to enter this command, the IP summary address, and this is where you create your custom summary route. Now all the routes that fall within that summary route, that larger route, will be withheld and they will not be advertised to your neighbors. Rather, the neighbor is going to receive your new summary address. And you can customize that to you know, whatever you want. That's the beauty of this approach. And then finally, we, we pointed out that on the router that you are creating your summary route on, a summary route is put into the route table and it's pointing to null zero. So in case a packet is received that was routed to the summary address, but no smaller, more uh, defined routes are more specific routes are located in your route table, the router is simply going to discard them. Okay? And so that's it. That is how you configure manual route summarization. Thanks for watching.